presents You Keep Shooting with Brian Peterson. Hey, good morning to you, and we are coming to you from Chicago, Illinois, on Lake Michigan to be exact, and it is about 5 a.m. Most of you are sleeping, a few of you are out here running, and some of you maybe just push the start button on your coffee machine. But a couple of things about this tip. One, it's going to show you what you missed, but also, even if you were here, what you may have missed anyway. And I'm referring to a composition idea that most of you need to embrace a lot. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson, and I'm the author of Understanding Exposure and Brian Peterson's Field Guide to Understanding Photography. And you are watching Adorama TV. I've got a perfect setup here, 30 minutes before sunrise. It's a wonderful time of day to be out here shooting. A little bit of wind on the lake, nothing serious, so I'm getting some degree of reflection of the lighting from the buildings themselves. I'm all set up for this placid, tranquil scene, and F11 at a three second exposure with cloudy white balance. Take a look at that first photograph. You might be thinking to yourself, wow, now that's worth getting up for. And I would agree, obviously, that's why I'm here. But here's the problem that I see that happens so often when students are out here shooting, is they fail to shoot the vertical composition that often exists within these horizontal compositions. So my question to you is, when is the best time to shoot a vertical composition? The answer is right after the horizontal. Well, we just shot the horizontal. So let's go ahead now and do that vertical composition. And in doing so, we are going to get a picture like so. Take a look at that. Same exposure time. And I think you'll agree, the two work equally well. It's not a question of which one is better. It's a simple question of, why wasn't I doing that before? Well, hopefully you'll start now. So the question was, when's the best time to shoot a vertical? You now know. It's right after you get done with that horizontal. Do not shoot the horizontal, then go home and go, hmm. There's a vertical in there, and I'm going to crop it in Photoshop. No, you're not. You're going to do it here. You're going to do it now, because when you crop it in Photoshop, you're throwing away half of your photograph. Those pixels are so disappointing. Oh, we're, we're getting thrown away. That's no good. It's really no good. Come on. You want to get the whole pixel family in the shot, so you just turn the camera here now and get your vertical shot. So when's the best time to shoot a vertical? Right after the horizontal? Yes. Hey, until next time, this is Brian Peterson saying, you keep shooting. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.